Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my October Ipsy Boxy Charm. So let's open this up. It's a good thing it came because I was in the mood to buy some products and I was like, no, you know what? Let me just hold out until my box comes and that will hold me over. Let's see, let's, let's see what we got this month. Okay. Glamoween. That's cute. I never look at this. I, I like to be surprised at what I got. If I don't remember. Oh, I remember the. Okay. This palette actually reminds me that the only thing in here that I'm not going to probably use is the palette. But Boxy Ipsy chose it for me, so I can't really do anything about that. But that's okay. I know there's someone out there who will use this. It's very pretty. It's very big. Really nice neutrals. Um, I don't know. I just... Over the years, I've just started shying away from the really big palettes. You find your one good neutral color or your one good brand. You kind of just like get used to just wanting to go with what your favorite is and I love my Natasha Denona's. Her neutrals are so good. I'm wearing this one too. I, this is like one of my most used palettes. The Peak 5 shadow palette. Like today, I'm just wearing these two. Just a very simple basic. Okay, now let's get into the stuff that I'm totally gonna use. First in here is the Huda Beauty Pinky Brown Lip Liner. I'm going to take off all my lip because I do have two Put a beauty items in here. This is Bombshell and Pinky Bum. So let me go ahead and take off my lips. This is M Cosmetics. I came prepared today for the makeup light. Oh, I can't stand with the sticker and I can't hold it. But it's funny because the sticker's only on the top, but none at the bottom. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Come out, come out. Very cute packaging. Let's see. Ooh, that's a perfect color. Okay. Very soft. How I like to do my lips nowadays is the round lips. I like doing round lips. So I like rounding out my top staying inside my lines and then very under here I'm gonna go over and then I'm gonna go back inside my line gives me a very like kind of shape. I love this. I'm so glad I chose it. And then this color is Bombshell Liquid Matte. Let's see how this, see how this one goes. Very similar to colors that I wear a lot, reach for a lot. It looks just like the color almost like that I was wearing already. And the consistency feels like nothing there type of consistency with a slight feel of dry oil. Very nice. 
nice. I like that. Yay. I'm so glad these colors are like actual ones that I'm going to use. And let me move on to the rest. So I've got the Earth Harbor Calypso Vitamin C Moisture Elixir. I'm starting to like almost have all the Earth Harbor stuff. And I did not have this one. A Vitamin C Moisture Elixir. I think I've said this before. I just like the Earth Harbor products because it just feels like you're putting something really good on your face. Like nothing like crazy ingredients in it. Almost no smell. And I love face oils. Face oils for me is a must. Like if you have oily skin, don't be afraid of face oils because your skin's probably producing oil because it wants oil. Start putting oil in your face and see how much your face stops oiling up. It's crazy. It's like an opposite effect. Um, two more things. Biro Celery AHA LHA Resurfacing Serum. I love resurfacing serums, and especially resurfacing, resurfacing body serums or creams. I think they just work so, so well. Like you can tell after like three uses, like new skin has like produced, like dead skin melted off, scrubbed off, washed off, and then new skin is all showing at the top. So I've never tried this one. Face and neck, morning, night, can be used daily. A resurfacing that can be used daily, that's very good. Looks really nice like that. Celery, oh wow, it's very liquidy. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, milky looking. very it's got a green scent there's a word for that green sense oh my god it's at the tip of my tongue it's gonna drive me nuts chypre i don't know it's french for cypress but i'm not sure if i'm describing the scent right using that i thought it meant like green i don't know but it's it's described as like citrusy floral and then woody and then oak moss so anyways that was a tangent can't wait to use that and then the last thing in here is this is the beauty boost item the herbivore lapis blue tansy squalane balancing facial oil i'm curious to see if it's got that blue tansy smell because every blue sear uh, every blue oil that i've had had that same blue tansy smell sunday riley i have another one herbivore face mask oh and this is herbivore and this packaging wow look at that so fancy Basically, that's what it's gonna smell like every time. I'd describe it as like almost like minty. Minty citrus? No, no. Mm. It's hard to explain. It's almost like minty and citrus musky i don't know <laughs> but yeah i know that i do my skin does like the blue tansy oils so i know i'm gonna like this as well and it just feels like quality and that is going to be my ipsy box ipsy boxy charm this month 
very happy with all the items. I think my, what I paid for is a very good value. I think my box said it was worth, I've actually got it here, $310. For sure I didn't pay $310. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.